What's up everybody? Good morning. So yesterday I made live calls. I called property owners in San Diego. Okay, so one of my coaching students, he reached out to me and said, hey, you know, we want to test out your scripts, your phone scripts in a different area. Let's have you call homeowners in my market. Okay, so my market in Orange Beach, Alabama, my, my primary niche is vacation second homes. Okay, so I'm calling from my market people all over the country anyway. Okay, so I'm talking to all kinds of different people. Uh, from all over the place already. Um, so he wanted to test out my scripts in his market and I thought this is going to be great content. So we went YouTube live, this was yesterday, we went YouTube live and I called through his single line dialer, he three-wayed me in, muted his phone and I called the property owners and talked to them. I said I was with his office at Keller Williams in La Jolla and we kind of went from there. The results were I talked to six people, I believe. I didn't get any email addresses. This was a 55 and up community. Okay, so he picked out a 55 and up community for me to talk to. Most of these people that are living in these 55 and up communities, this is their forever home. They're not thinking about doing anything. Um, most of them are, are the way they perceive their re, uh, real estate situation is is they're not looking to buy or sell anything. This is it for them. Um, they're going to ride out the rest of their life there. So that was kind of the, the results we got. A lot of people were just kind of not interested, not going to do anything, don't have emails, we're too old, one person said. So that was, that was one thing. I'm not um, saying that I couldn't get business there. From what I understand, there's a lot of 55 and up houses listed. This could be after people die in the probate. This could be older people that are selling to do other things because people don't really know, right? People live a lot longer than they think and, and they decide to do different things they never thought they would do all the time. So there were some people that weren't so nice to me and there were some people that were friendly to me. So it went both ways. But at the end of the day, this is kind of what I got out of it. And it was a huge, huge positive. It was a win for me because what I realized through the calls was that from the beginning call to the, to the last person I talked to, I was already making adjustments. I was already changing my tone. I was already changing the, the, the speed of my voice, how I was uh, communicating with people. By the end of the call session, I was already starting that transformation into a San Diego agent. And if I would have had maybe one or two more days of calls right there, boom, I would have had it. I would have started communicating the correct way and knocking down deals and creating these relationships that I talk about. So I want you to know that um, I think that the biggest takeaway here is that what I do does work anywhere. Relationships are universal. It doesn't matter where you are. People want to know that they're cared for. And it's also a numbers game. And I think that the, in the Facebook group, somebody posted about um, how much they enjoyed it. There was a lot of positive comments about how, you know, once people were, were starting to be rude or, or mean to me, that didn't phase me. I just kept calling and I kept trying and I kept being nice and I kept trying to make it happen. And that was very inspiring to a lot of people from what I see in the comments. There were also little comments that concerned me. Okay, there were some comments about how this just um, reaffirms, uh, you know, that cold calling doesn't work in California and so on and so forth. And these people that say this, they're missing the point, okay, and they're making straight up excuses. The problem is that, that you're, you're viewing, you're only taking the negatives out of the situation and you're not, you're not looking for the positives in there, okay? There were a couple things. I've got my back against the wall. I'm calling people in a market I know nothing about. I have one comp that the agent sent me. I can't even pronounce the, the road name or the street name that the people own the property on. It, it's completely something totally out of my comfort zone for sure. I'm making these calls live. The fact that I'm making these calls live, I know nothing about the area, should give you all the confidence and help squash any fears that you have about just making calls in your office to people in your area. Um, it, it was, to me, I really enjoyed it. And I think that for all of you out there who are, are just trying to pick apart the negative, 
uh, moments in those calls and saying, see, that's what I was trying to tell you, Ricky. People are so mean where I'm at. This stuff doesn't work. Totally the wrong attitude, okay? If you notice towards the end of the call session, people were starting to be nice to me because I was starting to adapt and learn how to communicate on their level. This game is not about you know, using the phone script and then finding out if it doesn't work in your area. The name of the game is taking your area and the climate of people's attitudes in that area and finding a way to communicate with them, right? That's up to you, right? Do you want this bad enough to get out there and talk to enough people to learn how to effectively communicate with people in your area? That's, that's a question that you have to answer. I would say that I am, I'm willing to do it in my area. I'm even willing to come do it in your area, right? Um, because I want success as bad as I say I do, and I'm willing to do what it takes to get there. I don't care about being a little uncomfortable. I don't care about making live calls on YouTube um, and getting eaten alive, right? I'm not worried about any of that stuff. What I'm worried about is, is putting the work in. I'm not tied to the results. I'm tied to, am I gonna push through adversity? Am I going to push through people being rude to me to get to that person that needs my help? Closings are happening every day. And if you're just sitting around saying nothing works, then nothing's going to work. But if you stand up and you say, you know what, I'm going to get out here and help people today. And if, if I'm not, I'm not going to let people judge me or let that judgment affect who I'm going to be. I'm going to get out here and I'm going to spread the message that I'm here to help people. And if they don't like it, that's their loss. I'm telling you, give me two more call sessions out there in San Diego or New York or anywhere, Miami, anywhere. It doesn't matter to me, right? I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna make adjustments. I'm gonna adapt and I'm going to figure out how to effectively communicate with people in that area. That's what I do, that's who I am, right? So this call session yesterday was a huge, huge success. I'm gonna link it right at the end of this video for those who didn't watch it and just tell me what you think right watch it let me know what you think and uh, i'm sure you get a couple laughs out of it as well so anyway just want to do this quick video let you guys know what my thoughts were i really appreciate you guys very very much let me know if there's anything in the world i can do for you we'll talk to you soon